So I've got this old Honeywell Duquesne furnace. And a couple days ago, I noticed that my thermostat stopped working and I wasn't getting heat. And I was very curious on what happened here. So um, at first, I usually when this happens, usually it's just a fuse. So I actually keep a box of fuses on top of my furnaces just to go in and replace them every once in a while. And uh, so I just wanted to kind of show you what I found and uh, the diagnostics I took and kind of what happened. I'm obviously recording this after I've done the work, but I felt like it was important for someone else to see and, and uh, know how to do something like this. So, um, this is a control panel for the furnace, and as you can see, there's an issue. It's <laughs> short circuited something blue on it and uh, caused it to not work. So really the only fix with something like this is to get a new control panel. And if you look at the sticker up here, it tells you what kind of part it is. So mine was an ST9160B um, submodel 1076. And uh, you, you can get these on eBay that were identical to this, but they were used because they would have come out of a working furnace hypothetically uh, but instead of doing that I decided to go with a universal fix um, and so this is just kind of a universal control panel that comes with jumpers and cables and kind of everything you need um, and so you can see right here it's a universal for an ST9160 uh, so this is just kind of a quick video on how to replace this this is what it looks like installed, but I wanted to go through what the process looked like for me to install this and go through it. Uh, keep in mind, I've never done anything like this before. Uh, kind of a jack of all trades person, but uh, you know, willing to take on some more difficult stuff. The first thing I did is I looked at these instructions. The instructions were helpful for a couple of things. The first is to look at your dip switch settings. So right here it got, has all of your dip switch settings that they should be on or off. Model numbers on the left, so I marked mine here. There's my model. And it looks like all my dip switches are off. So they come standard with the dip switches off. But just for your reference, there's your dip switches. So all of mine came off. So I was pretty much set. If you look, some of them come off, but the majority of them have a, a dip switch that needs to be on. So just keep in mind of that when you're going through this process. The second thing here is the adapter and harness setup. So each one's a little different. They come with these different harnesses. Mine, um, all I needed to do was use the jumper plug as the factory wiring was already adequate for what I had. And so you can see my jumper plug right here that it came with. And then I used my factory harness and all my other wires that it came that were on the furnace. So I didn't have to worry about anything else. So now the next process was to go through just kind of taking things off and putting it on. And, and what I did is I, I labeled everything when I took it off the control panel. So, as I had neutrals, I marked them here and then marked an N on each wire. My cool, I marked a C, heat, I marked an H, M1, M1, and then I had my 24 um, volt and my COM. And then I obviously had the thermostat controls over here. So I marked everything. So when I went to go put it on, oh, and L1, I forgot about the L1. And so when I went to go put on the new panel, it was easy to, to put on. So right here, everything's marked on the new control panel. So I've got the COM that I put on. There's my 24 volt AC, which is the power. There's my thermostat. 
And then I've got my heating and cool, my L1, and my neutrals. And then I had an M1 as well right there. And there's my harness that comes in, that connects in. So everything was in here. It was surprisingly easy to put together and put in. I was a little nervous about doing the, doing it because I've never done anything like this before. But um, as long as you've got the right control panel from your original and you've got a good replacement that's meant for it, everything should be pretty straightforward on how to connect it because everything's labeled on the sides here and there. Um, again, you could always buy the same control panel that came out of it, but it's used. So I didn't really feel comfortable with that. So um, you can buy these on eBay or Amazon. I decided to buy it from Amazon. And the reason why is you can purchase a, an additional warranty on it. Um, and so if anything ever happened like this again, it's, it's covered. So I, I purchased a the panel, uh, the control panel, I think cost me 120 and I purchased a four year warranty for 20 bucks. So I ended up paying $140 for this. Um, so give me a little solidarity and in knowing if I ever went out again, uh, I'd be fine. Uh, it works, you can see my green light on there. Um, and up there, I was just testing it and it's been heating up just great. So no concerns, no nothing. As you do something like this, just keep in mind to turn your power off, flip your breaker off, do all the safe stuff, you know, yada, yada. Um, don't be dumb. But yeah, there you go.